celebrating America through an Angelino point of view. We wanted to continue to celebrate and honor Independence Day Grand Park style. Then barbecue with a SoCal twist. We really just try to bring out all of our heritages and into what we're doing here. And locals share their love for Whittier. When you enter the city, what people love, it's this gorgeous landscape. Plus, the Pacific Air Show is back. So we're packing two years of excitement into one air show. Get ready for takeoff. Local -ish LA starts right now. Welcome to Localish LA. I'm community journalist Eric Resendiz. We are in Grand Park in downtown LA where they are celebrating Independence Day all month long with a special exhibit, Portraits of Freedom. Portraits of Freedom, Building a Life in LA is our biggest art exhibit since the June 15th reopening. And July really marks the reopening in a lot of ways of Grand Park. We are in Grand Park in downtown Los Angeles, and it is the start of summer. Grand Park has been the home of a massive 4th of July celebration every year since 2013. And with the pandemic, we weren't able to bring the event back this year. Uh, but we wanted to continue to celebrate and honor Independence Day Grand Park style. So today we are here checking out the Portraits of Freedom, Building a Life in LA exhibit that launched on July 1st. So we are working with five different community partners and artists, and each of them are investigating for them. What does home mean or what does freedom mean for you? And all those artists are bringing the lens of their life in Los Angeles into that work in different ways. So July 25th is our first big event back open to the public, and it is a beloved series we've been doing in Grand Park called Sunday Sessions. It's been going since 2013. It's a monthly electronic dance party. So this whole lawn fills up, DJs, families, picnicking, dance party. We're so excited to welcome it back. We're so excited to celebrate house music and LA's contribution to it. We've reopened the splash pad. The kids and families can get back in there on hot days. The playground is reopened. The dog park is reopened. The park is really back. And at the end of this month, we'll come back to live events. Summer means barbecues, but if you don't want to fire up the grill yourself, there is a barbecue joint in San Juan Capistrano that is worth the wait. Barbecue is in every single culture, so it was really kind of easy to tie everything together. Smoke and fire and flavor, you know, meat, it's a, a primal thing that really everybody can jump on. There's no other restaurant that really opens up at a specific time and has, you know, 200 people queued outside of it. I did expect to see a line, yeah, I absolutely. <laughs> It's kind of like a giant party as you're waiting for your food to come out. But well worth the wait. Hi, I'm Daniel Castillo, and welcome to Heritage Barbecue in San Juan Capistrano. San Juan's a really big equestrian town, and it's a little, it's still got that small town feel, which uh, kind of reminds us of uh, some smaller little towns in Texas. California is such a melting pot with their cuisines, you know, and it has, always has been. We really just try to bring out all of our heritages in, into what we're doing here. This is, of course, what we're known for the most. This is personally my favorite cut, which would be uh, the fatty side of the brisket. These are our uh, Duroc spare ribs. This is one of our customer favorites that's over here. One of my personal favorites too, guys. Uh, don't sleep on the turkey. A lot of people kind of pass it up, but this is something that uh, you definitely need to try. So this is a brisket banh mi that we do over here. Man, this is really, really good. People have been really loving this. You could literally hear every day and eat something different. The brisket, I mean, I'm just a brisket person. Person, so it's great, but the thing that astonishes and amazes me more is the ribs. I am very critical about mac and cheese, and that is the best mac and cheese. Definitely Texas-sized portions, where everything's bigger. This is not usually how much we eat on a regular basis, but we thought this is our first time here, so go big or go home. That was good. Oh yeah, this is our first time, but I think we're gonna be regulars for sure. Wow, that looks delicious. Now in Echo Park, there is a fried fish pop-up that is selling out on the regular. But first, let's check out Little Llama Peruvian Tacos right here in downtown LA. It's big portions, everything's delicious, not too expensive. You're not gonna find a better chicken dish for five bucks anywhere for my, you know, for my money. 
here at Little Llama Peruvian Tacos in downtown LA, where we take classic Peruvian ingredients and dishes and put them into tostadas, tacos, burritos, and make the dishes a little more accessible to people who have never tried Peruvian cuisine, and kind of an exciting twist on it for people who are familiar with the dishes. So we wanted to create a menu that lots of people could, um, you know, could enjoy. So you know, we have steak, chicken, you know, seafood, but we also have a lot of vegan and vegetarian options. What I love about everything is the flavors are always on point, and there's flavors that I wouldn't necessarily know to pair together, and then it's just like kind of, I don't know, just like an incredible explosion. <laughs> I would say for the people that are coming here for the first time to start with our tacos. It's kind of how we got started at Smorgasburg LA. And I would recommend the Lomo Saltado, which is a beloved dish in Peru. It is steak, stir fried and garlic and ginger. I don't know what kind of magic is in it, <laughs> but whatever's on the bottom of the steak that I have here is, is uh, quite unique. Really good, really tasty. In addition to our tacos and burritos and tostadas, we have a really nice uh, drink menu. Um, we have a lot of house-made refrescos. And then also for alcohol, we have beer and wine. So we have a really nice selection. And we also do a happy hour. So it's great to just come on down, hang out, have a beer, have some tacos. Come hang out with us. We just started doing this and wanted to do it for our friends in the beginning and didn't even really expect it to turn into anything bigger than that. Originally, we were just doing fried fish and uh, like vegetable sides. We had some friends that were like, oh, you guys should just make a sandwich, like make a filet of fish, wouldn't that be funny? We ended up really liking it and we did one sandwich only fry a couple months in. I saw them post about it on Instagram, came to the first one, never stopped coming back. Everything they were putting out just made you want to come back and support them. We are in my backyard in Echo Park. We, you know, decided that we missed cooking for people and wanted to kind of see what we could accomplish on our own. And so we kind of figured out this setup with the window here where we could safely like pass food across. The forest is from Milwaukee, and I guess in the Midwest there's a big like uh, fish fry culture. We really thought it would just be like our friends and then maybe friends of friends and like eventually we would all go back to work and like this would be this really special thing we had but it kind of took off in this unexpected way. I've watched it on social media go from like you know hey we're doing this thing come take uh, check it out you come in there's a smattering of people to being like sold out within a matter of minutes on Instagram like I can't even get the sandwich sometimes. Everyone has just been so 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 supportive and sharing and bringing people and coming back. None of us expected that it would be anything like this. It was a great surprise and we didn't have those long-term plans for it in the beginning but we definitely do now. We don't want it to come to an end. Coming up on Localish LA. Once you come down into Whittier, you truly feel that warm community suburb feel. Locals share what makes the city of Whittier shine. Plus, the reopening of an important community resource. Then later... It's going to be absolutely incredible. And we want you to be there to experience it. Stay tuned to find out how you could win tickets to the Pacific Air Show. Welcome back everyone. We are in Grand Park checking out the special exhibit. Here for the month of July, this piece was painted by downtown LA artist Jonah Elijah. Now let's head out southeast of here to the city of Whittier to find out what locals love about their hometown. Whittier is a special place. It's got a hometown feel, anything from hiking the hills of Murphy Ranch Park, walking or cycling down the Greenway Trail, and the countless parks and all the greenery that's found throughout the city. I would describe Whittier as charming. We're kind of in a sweet spot. It's not too far from the beach, it's not too far from LA, but once you come down into Whittier, you truly feel that warm community suburb feel. When you enter the city, what people love, it's this gorgeous landscape. As you drive up the street, a city of trees. Whittier has such amazing geography. The Jacaranda trees, which I grew up with, truly feels like purple rain. The views in Whittier are gorgeous. Up on the hike on Turnbull Canyon, once you reach the water tower, 
Whittier has an uptown historic district, beautiful homes, I would say starting late 1800s, but I'm a photographer. And so a lot of my spare time, I just walk the streets of Whittier and take photos of the historical homes or the beautiful landscape. There are also so many cool spots to go to. We love Auntie's Cafe. We love going to Crepes and Grapes. You know, the central hub of Whittier and its essence can be found in Uptown Whittier. There's a brewery uh, located in the Nixon Plaza building, built in 1923. Nice Art Deco type building. It's got outdoor dining, a really nice patio. They have a pizza station, some tacos, a wine bar. They got an ice cream station. It's an experience where you can go and kind of try different foods while having a cold beer. So a fantastic feature is the Greenway Trail. One of the most beautiful stretches starts at Palm Park and it's a fantastic place to work out. So one of the highlights is that you can actually walk a footpath over the Five Points Bridge. You can walk it, you can stroll, you can ride a bike, you can even bring your dog. Okay, I've never been able to find it. I know it exists, like hidden gem of Whittier, the castle. When the trees in the winter are chopped down, you can see the castle. It's a wild place. Another hidden gem is the secret staircase. Near Whittier College in the hills, there's a beautiful ginormous staircase that runs in between homes, but it's technically open to the public. So Whittier is definitely surrounded by a, a community that's just kind, who take pride in their city. When you hear the words community resource center, you may not even think about free fitness classes, juicing classes, or even mommy and me classes. But the folks at LA Care, they are making sure that these are just a few of the things that they have to offer to the communities throughout the LA area, and they are excited to be reopening. Well, community resource center is just a fun, um, inclusive space where people, our members and people in the community can come and take advantage of the programming that we offer here. We have a variety of um, classes available. We have free Zumba classes, meditation classes, workshops on improving parenting skills, um, so much more, anger management, things like that. It's so easy to just be able to walk down the street and have somewhere where you can take a class or do something fun with your kids. They had a calendar and I looked at it and uh, I started seeing what they, uh, what they offered. So I, I got interested in the, in the juicy. We also provide enrollment support services to help our community get access to health care when needed. And they have a lot of resources, they know where to send you. Not a lot of people want to help in communities and areas like this and this is really helpful. They're super friendly, um, even from the beginning, from the girls in the front and the teachers, the instructors that they have are extremely um, interactive with the kids and very friendly. You don't need to be a member. Anyone is welcome to walk into our centers and access the services. We do offer childcare when parents come in to take classes. We have nine centers throughout LA County. So we have them from Pacoima to Pomona and from Antelope Valley all the way down to the South Bay. In fact, we just opened our center in Wilmington and we plan to open five more centers within the next year. And we have our upcoming back to school backpack giveaway events, which kick off on July 16th. So we'd like to welcome everyone in the community to stop by, get a free backpack with school supplies for children. Come in, come in and at least ask the girls in the front and they'll be sure to point you in the right direction and they'll have something for you. Still ahead on Localish LA, giving casual dining a remix. We love that the menu always changes too and get to try new stuff. Plus, Marina Del Rey Living. Take a tour of this hot property when Localish LA continues. Localish LA is sponsored by LA Care and Blue Shield Promise Community Resource Center, helping you stay active, healthy, and informed in your neighborhood. Visit activehealthyinformed.org to learn more. We moved to the Music Center where live, in-person performances have returned. We talked with California native and ballerina Tyler Peck about the upcoming production, Lines. I felt like I was kind of born with this dancing kind of gift. And so for me, it was just figuring out what path I wanted to use it in. And ballet, actually, as a career, came much later on. I didn't like it in the beginning, but my mom was smart and she said, you need that technique no matter what kind of dance you want to go into. So thankfully she did that and so now I'm able to be in the New York City Ballet. I always say that dance is this universal language that everyone understands because you don't have to speak the same language to be moved by music. 
This will be the first time that I'm performing live outdoor in California at the Music Center, which is, you know, a very big dance home to me because it's where my friends and my family can come and see me. After the pandemic, to be performing live again with a group of colleagues around me is really special. I'm actually being a special guest with Alonzo King's Lines Company, and I'm going to be performing a duet with me and my dance partner, Roman Mejia, and also a solo that he also created for me. So I'm going to be doing two numbers with him. It's not classical ballet, it's contemporary, so I think that it's definitely more relatable, I think, to a wider range of audience. And then my solo is hair down and ballet shoes instead of point shoes. So I get to show two different sides of my dancing, which I'm really looking forward to. Ballerinas, we get put on this like untouchable pedestal and we're uptight and that's just so not me. I feel like I'm pretty down to earth and just this normal California girl. So I think getting to break down that barrier and make dance and ballet more accessible has really been kind of a goal of mine. Now to an artist in the kitchen. Chef Ross Pangolinden is bringing his eclectic cuisine to Long Beach with Remix Kitchen Bar. Check it out. Our food is like bold, has bold flavors, bright flavors, it's fresh, so you really can't find it anywhere else. Hi, I'm Ross Pangolinen. We're here at Remix Kitchen Bar in Long Beach, California. It's a reflection of my type of cuisine. You know, I'm French trained, Italian trained, but I grew up in Southern California. Um, I'm Asian, so it's kind of everything into one space. I grew up skateboarding a lot. You want to have as many tricks in your arsenal as possible. When I am working, it's a challenge that I love. It's fun. It's like um, it's like skateboarding. You know, you're, when you're trying to learn a trick, you keep on trying that trick until you land it. You know, your skateboard style is unique, and so is your cooking style. Our uh, albacore tostadas. Uh, we we make an orange pepper in house, and we crust the albacore with it. And we have a Japanese dressing that brings a lot of umami flavor. Um, bomb in your mouth. Next is the uh, pork cheek adobo. That's a play on my grandma's recipe. We use uh, Filipino vinegar, Filipino soy sauce, a lot of peppercorns, a lot of garlic when, when braising the pork cheek. We braise it until it's tender. It's one of our uh, most popular brunch dishes. Our shrimp lumpia, we take shrimp, we take a lot of vegetables, a lot of herbs, mint, cilantro. We make that in the lumpia wrapper and we just roll it up and fry it off and it's so it's really good. It's got a little of everything. I mean, it was just a good choice of foods put together. You know, just this week we just noticed they brought on pizza. We didn't have pizza two or three weeks ago, so we love that the menu always changes too and get to try new stuff. We're excited to be able to welcome people into our restaurant and uh, we like to, uh, you know, kind of remix it up if you will. So many hot restaurants to visit in Southern California. You know what else is hot? The real estate market. Here's Carl Schmidt with more on that. Thanks, Eric. Loglish LA has teamed up with Redfin to show you some Southern California homes currently on the market. This week's featured property is a condo in Marina del Rey. Welcome to 4140 Glencoe Avenue, Unit 608. My name is Michael, please come in. We have two bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and 1,860 square feet. This property is really special because of the fact that it's the only top floor unit here that has two balconies. It also has incredible amount of light all throughout the day. One other thing that's really fantastic is the walkability. Uh, there are a lot of shops and restaurants nearby. We're very close to the marina. You can actually hop on a bike and be at the marina in a couple of minutes. One of the fantastic features of this home is the entertainer's kitchen. You have the ability to cook here in the kitchen and also look out into the living room, still mingle with your guests, still have an amazing source of light coming through the balconies. The open floor plan allows for you to place a dining table here. You could also maybe place a desk if you're working from home. We have two primary bedrooms, both with in-suite bath. The fantastic thing about both bedrooms, again, is the amount of light that comes through. And as we make our way here into the secondary bedroom, you will see that we also have walk-in closets, ensuite bathroom with top-of-the-line finishes, 
Also, we have a balcony here, which connects both bedrooms. This home also features a nook area. Of course, we do have it displayed as an office now, but it's great for versatility and provides additional space. One of the great things about our website is we have 3D walkthroughs available for every unit. So if you are unable to physically drive here to the unit, you can go online, walk through the apartment, see the space. This home is listed at $1,675,000. Up next on Localish LA. We've got the most incredible lineup that we've ever had. The Pacific Coast Air Show is coming back. We've got a preview and your chance to win premier tickets next. Localish LA is sponsored by Redfin Premier, offering exclusive services for high-end homes without the high-end fees. Learn more at redfin.com slash premier. We moved over to the reopened splash pad, and this is a great place to cool down on a hot summer day. And speaking of hot, one of the hottest events, the Pacific Air Show, is returning to Huntington Beach this fall, and tickets are on sale now. We are super excited to have the air show return to Huntington Beach in 2021. This event draws people from all over the world and we expect around 3 million visitors to come to Huntington Beach. Ever since this year started, people have asked me about, you know, was the air show coming back? And I say, yes. We've got the most incredible lineup that we've ever had here in Huntington Beach at Pacific Air Show. We've got the U.S. Navy Blue Angels coming in their brand new FA-18 Super Hornet Jets. This is the first year that they've flown in their brand new jets, and uh, we're excited to host them in Huntington Beach. In addition to that, we have the Canadian Forces Snowbirds who will be joining us again, who are always a crowd favorite. We've got the F-35 demo team from the Air Force, and probably about two dozen other performers between civilian aviators and military performers. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. It feels really good to return to some sort of sense of normalcy. It's so nice to finally get to see one another and celebrate together. If you've never been to Pacific Air Show, then 2021 is the year to come. We've got an entire lineup of performers who are eager to come out to Huntington Beach and display their finest, who unfortunately weren't able to perform last year, and so we're packing two years of excitement into one air show. There is no bad place to see the Pacific Air Show here in Huntington Beach. We have over 10 miles of coastline. Come on down, set up a chair. You'll absolutely love this show. Wow, that's gonna be a great show, and now is your chance to win tickets to see it. We are giving away a four pack of Premier Club seating for the Pacific Air Show Friday, October 1st. Each ticket includes hosted food and beverage options and an unforgettable view of the exciting aerobatic performances, all in the comfort of a tented pavilion. For your chance to win, go to the Localish LA Facebook page. Good luck and thank you so much for watching Localish LA. Don't miss an all-new episode of Localish LA on Sunday at 6.30 on ABC7. Or click on the subscribe button and watch Localish LA anytime.